What's going on, my friends? Today, we're going to take a look at Aqualin. Actually, from... it's Aqualin, Chief. Oh, man. What's up, Redford? The sky, the roof, my hopes and dreams. Yeah, you know, I was hoping this was going to be a short video, but you may as well sit back, grab some popcorn, and... Yeah, it's short, so I'm here to make it sweet. <laughs> All right. So today, we're going to take a look at Aqualin from Thames and Cosmos. Um, Aqualand... Wait, hold on. Cosmos, is this a space game or are we talking water? No, we're talking water. We're talking water. Aqualin is a two-player game, and um, it takes around 20 minutes to play. It is designed by Marcello Bertocci. Bertocci, mamma mia. Yeah. So um, we're going to discuss Aqualin. We'll show you how it plays, and then we'll tell you what we think. You ready? No. All right. This is Aqualin. Aqualin! No, it's not. Yes. Okay, so let's talk some Aqualand, shall we? Okay. All right. So Aqualand uh, is a two-player only game. And the idea behind Aqualand, the theme is uh, this is a reef. Uh, the reef is getting pretty full. And before it gets full, you want to group together schools of fish. Schools of fish. Chief, fish do not go to school. Okay, look at Shane. He hasn't been exposed to the real world. Well, maybe if Shane would have gone to school, he would have been exposed to the real world, and then maybe he wouldn't be so positive all the time. Exactly. The poor kid has no idea what's waiting for him. He has no idea, that's for sure. So you're going to be trying to group together schools of fish, either by matching their color or by matching their type. Red ones give you 5,000 points. You know what? There's actually red tiles in this one. <gasps> oh, yes. Yeah, I, I thought you would like that. I love this game. So we're going to try to do something here we haven't done in one of our videos yet. And you know what that is? I don't know, but the fact that there's red in the sea of blue makes me happy. So go ahead, say it. We're going to keep it short. Okay, game's called Aquilin. Good game. You do this, you do that. Bada bing, bada boom. Bye. Yeah, not that short, but we're going to try to keep it short because the game is so easy to learn and so easy to play why make the review video so long because content it's a rhetorical question rhetorical yeah what's that the beauty of aqualine is in the is, red tiles <laughs> yeah the tiles are nice and and the red ones are nice mm -hmm. i'll give you that but the beauty is how quickly you can go from opening the box learning the rules to playing your first game so let's get to it. I'll show you how it plays, and then I'll tell you what I think. Oh, wow, it is a short game. Look at it. They're not even like two inches. Okay, so here's Aqualin on the table, ready to go. It's just one board that both players will be playing on, and a whole bunch of these tiles. Oh, they're all blue. On the other side oh, have no. the uh, sea creatures in different colors. Oh. oh, here's a red one. Oh, let me see. Look. Here's a red oh, one. Let me see. Give me, give me, give me. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the camera? I don't know. It's right there. There's a red one right there. Give me. You want to see it up close? Yes. Look. There's Look a red it. one it's right beautiful. there. No, don't. Red, Redford, ah. spit it out. Mm -mm. Spit it out. Mm -mm. Ah. Spit it out. Ah. 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 Whoa, that went pretty far. I didn't even know I had that in me. Well, once Man. you almost swallowed it, you had it in you. Tasted good. Yeah. But Let me give me another. No, no, I no, no. I really no, no, no. like the blue ones and the yellow ones. So let me ask you, what tastes better, tiles or cardboard? Well, it depends. That red tile kind of tasted like cherry. <laughs> like cherry. Okay, so now that we almost lost a tile. What do you mean? Let's talk about the game setup. Super simple. You put all the tiles face down like this, and this is your stockpile. Ah. From here, you take six tiles 
and put them face up near the board somewhere. And this is going to be your drafting pool. So what colors we got here? Well, we in this case, we drafted yellow, purple, lemon, pink, grape, another yellow, lemon again, I don't another know what pink, pink is. and a green. Pink is like watermelon. Green is lime. Pink is almost red. Pink is not red. We're in the same family, but we're not red. So you're like cousin. Do you have a pink cousin somewhere? I have a pink sister. Well, she's like all over the place. <laughs> Will we see her someday? Ah, uh, that depends. Right now she's in San Francisco, Rio. Ah, uh, it's very. It's a very exotic place. Before the game, each player decides what they're going to try to group together, either colors or types of creatures. So, for example, Redford, let's say you. Would you want to group colors or types of creatures? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Turns are very simple and fast. All you're going to do is choose a tile from the drafting pool. And again, that'll depend if you're trying to group together colors or types of creatures. Mm -hmm. But let's say you choose this tile. Then you can choose to move an already existing tile. And we'll show you that in a sec. The first turn that doesn't apply because there are no tiles mm -hmm. and you can place it anywhere on the board let's say i place it here mm -hmm. and that's it that's Is the it? turn okay yeah now, bye everybody no 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 there's a, just a little more oh. so now the second player goes oh at the end of the turn you always take a tile and replenish the drafting pool ah. so now the second player goes and they pick a tile uh, let's say they pick this one and now they can choose to move this tile that's on the board either left or right or up and down from where it was originally at and it can go as far as you want so you can move it one square or you can move it all the way across if you want then you place the tile that you chose anywhere on the board as well it doesn't have to be adjacent to anything it could go anywhere on the board we're saying that it can go Anywhere. 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 So I can put it like here? No, no, no. Anywhere on the board. Oh. You're too literal, Redford. You take things. Literally? Literally. I don't know what that means. <laughs> and again, at the end of the player's turn, they take a tile so that there's always six tiles here to choose from. And the game continues that way. Uh, you, players pick a tile, they choose to move any tile on the board, left or right or up and down mm -hmm. from where it was, and then they place their tile. This whole time, you're trying to group, again, either uh, the same colors or the same type of creatures, depending on what you chose at the beginning of the game. Now, one thing to remember is the tiles, once they're on the board, they don't belong to either player. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's easily forgotten. Oh. Yeah. Only the groups belong to the players, as long as they can keep those schools of fishes together. Oh. Did you oh, have... yeah. That was a good stretch. Did you? <sighs> oh, I thought you had like a light bulb moment. Light bulb moment. Yeah, you know. Bing. Damn it. That's weird, man. How do you get light bulbs above your head? When you have a... A good idea. When you, have you ever had a brilliant idea in your life? All the time. So you, you walk around with a light bulb on your head? No. That's weird. <laughs> you humans are so weird. It's an expression. I told you, man. Express. Go. Be you. At least he's consistent, right? Oh, hey, someone's here. The game continues like that as players take turns back and forth choosing tiles, placing tiles, trying to create groups of fishes. Fishes is not a word, it's fish. I think, yeah, you know, you're right. You're yeah, right. I was a transfer student in, <laughs> to a school of fish. You're right, you're right, it is yeah. fish. You're trying to great, create schools of fish. The game ends, do you know when the game ends? Uh, I don't know, when the board is full. Hey, there's your light bulb moment. Hey, I think you might want to go to the doctor. Get checked out for illuminations. <laughs> so Redford is right. Once the board is full, the last tile has been placed, the game ends. And then you simply score points. Your score will depend on how many groups you were able to make. 
So again, you're looking for either groups of colors or groups of creatures. If you were able to group two tiles together, you're going to score one point. Three tiles together scores three points. Four scores six. Five. Redford, can you read what five tiles uh, will score? Uh, no, that's in binary. In, what do you mean in binary? It says one zero. Oh, it's not binary, it's ten. That's a new type of language. <laughs> so five tiles together score 10 points and six will score 15 points. Here's an example of final scoring. So what you're going to do is uh, each player will score separately, of course. So let's say you want to score the player that was grouping colors. So you're going to do each color one at a time. Let's say you start with blue. So you're going to look for groups of blue creatures. Doesn't matter the creature, just the color. For example, this group of two blues will score you a point. Ah. This group of four blues right here, all adjacent mm -hmm. to each other. So you're looking for adjacent groups, and diagonal does not count as adjacent. Oh. So these four here will score you six points, and I think that's all the groups of blues that are on this board. So for blue, you would score seven points. Then you move on to the next color, and you add up your score for all colors. That'll be your final score. Then, then the player that grouped uh, creatures together can go ahead and try to score. So again, that player is looking for groups of similar creatures. Doesn't matter the color. So for example, here we have a big group of fish. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's four tiles. So these four tiles will score that player six points. Uh, we keep looking for more fish. I don't see any more fish. Uh, but then you move on to the next creature and so forth till you've scored all of them. The winner is? The winner. The winner. Numero uno. <laughs> the one with the highest score. Oh. And that is how you play. Aqualin. 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 You know, you really, we really should pronounce it correctly. Yeah, I know, but you just can't get it. <laughs> All right, so what do we think about Aqualin? Aqualin. Let's talk about that now. So is Shane going to be here or not? Because I do not want to stick around if he's going to... What makes you think Shane is going to... Water, fish... You know what? Shane would have been the perfect... Okay, no, 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 no. Shane no, no. would have been the perfect no, sidekick for no, this one. No, Maybe we should redo it. No, I'm not replacing my sidekick. All right, so just like uh, Aqualin, Aqualin and Shane, eh. we're going to keep this review short and sweet. I would thought you were going to say short and annoying <laughs> and oblivious. You, you got to give Shane more credit, man. <sighs> look, I'm just trying to look out for the kid, but he also gets on my nerves. Yeah. A lot. I think we know that. And if you don't know who Shane is and how he gets on Redford's nerves, uh... click there. Uh, You'll no, find out. that's sheepy time, okay? That's sheepy time. That's not a button. <laughs> Let's start with the artwork. The artwork is as good as it needs to be. I mean, when you look at the box, it's it's pretty obvious that the game is about... It's about geometrical fish. Geometrical fish? Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at those shapes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. it's easy to mm -hmm. tell the game is about fish, it's about water, it's about a reef. Uh, the artwork is nice and... Uh, catchy. I, I do like what they did with the artwork. When you look at the tiles themselves, if we look here on the board once again, the tiles are nice and colorful. Mm -hmm. uh, the style of the art on the tiles. Nice is inclusion of red. Nice. They We got to give them a plus for red, right? Yes. Yeah. So the tiles look nice. They're not stickers. They're actually printed tiles. So that's a huge plus. Quality. Quality. Let's move on to gameplay. How does the game play? Well, I think the gameplay is nice and smooth. It's great that the game is short, like you. It's easy to learn. I can grow taller. No, 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 let's not do that anymore. Mm -hmm. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no. You know no. you want me to. No. Okay, fine, go. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of embarrassing. Never mind. Told Forget ya. it. Told you. Forget it. You didn't see anything. <laughs> because the game is so easy to learn and teach and play, you could play it with anybody. I mean, I actually played this game with my mother. Oy. Yeah. I wish I knew my mother. 
Is this going to turn into a sad... Just kidding, I do. Her name was Joanna. My dad's name was Michael. My dad was red and my mom was green. That's a lot of personal details. Yeah, so my natural hair color was brown, but then I accidentally fell into a dyeing factory and then I turned red at a very young age. Wow, this sounds like a movie. That sounds like a bad movie. <laughs> so yeah, I played this game with my mom and she understood it quickly. <gasps> we got it. We played a, a, a couple of rounds and it was a lot of fun. One other thing that helped in this case is that the game is language independent. Yeah, it's all independent. Yeah. So there's nothing to read here. It's just colors and creatures. So that makes it real easy to play uh, with anyone. You know, in my case, my mom doesn't speak English, but that didn't stop us from playing this game and enjoying it. Wow. Uh, yeah. There is strategy to think about in this game. It's not just placing your tile, but that optional move at the beginning of your turn where you can choose to slide a tile over before placing one can really mess with your opponent's uh, strategy. So let's say I'm trying to group together schools of creatures and my opponent is trying to do colors. So they have a really nice line of three pink mm -hmm. uh, creatures here. Yeah. So if they can maintain that to the end of the game, they're gonna score. I don't know. Three points. Cool. Yeah. Let's say on my turn, I choose this red jellyfish. So now. Good choice. Good choice, right? Now I can choose to move this pink uh, little, um, what is it called? What is that? What is that? I don't know. Seahorse. This, ah. this pink seahorse down and place my jellyfish there. Now I've Ooh. broken up. Ooh. Yeah. I've broken up that school of pink fishes. Yikes. But now on their turn, they can do the same thing. So they can come in and maybe uh, move this down so that they can put another color there that's going to benefit it. Maybe this uh, pink uh, starfish and continue making groups. Wow. Yeah. So there's strategy there to think about. Remember, very important, the tiles don't belong to any player. Once they're placed, you can move any tile. Doesn't matter if you placed it or your opponent has placed it. That's important to remember because every game that I've played is something that I've had to remind my opponent about um, because the tendency is to think oh well my tiles are colors and your tiles are fish but here uh, these tiles don't belong to anyone until the very end when the groups are finalized the groups of either colors or creatures are what belong to each player for final scoring ease of play I don't think we have to say much more of how easy the game is to play I mean do you think you could play this Redford sure with your eyes closed uh, I mean, I've never really closed my eyes, but if that's what you want me to say, then sure. Sure, why don't you say, I can play Aqualin. Aqualin is so easy, I could play it with my eyes closed. Aqualin is so easy, I can play it with my eyes closed. There it is. There's your promo. Although I don't know how exactly you're going to score. I mean, I guess you could feel like Braille for the animal, but how do you know the color? You had to ruin the promo, didn't you? Well, I was just... You clarifying. Had, you couldn't just say that and just stop. No, I'm clarifying. And finally, replayability. How replayable is this game? Very replayable. Next category. Well, that's the last category. Oh, final decision. <laughs> One quick thing about replayability. So there is another category. Oh, no, same thing about replayability. <sighs> In the rule book uh, at the very end, it says, do you want to play another round? No. This time, switch roles. So the player who previously played with colors is now playing with animal types and vice versa. Okay. There you go. So play another game and switch roles. Uh, the game sets up quick. I mean, all you got to do is, you know, take the tiles off the board. Eat them. No, not eat them. Eat them. And turn them upside down and you're ready to play another game. And it's very replayable because the tiles are going to randomly come out, right? And the way you form groups is going to be different every time. What you do have to remember when you switch roles is your new role, right? Uh, in the previous game, you were choosing colors and now you're choosing uh, types of creatures. And that leads me to a very, very small nitpick about the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what a nitpick is? No. 
So why'd you agree with me? I don't know. <laughs> Do you always agree with me? No. Yeah, I can vouch for that. I almost wish there was a little card that, you know, indicated what you are trying to group, either colors or types of fish, so you have it next to you just as a, as a reminder. Maybe it was just me, but sometimes I did kind of forget, okay, what am I going for? Am I going for colors or am I going for uh, types of fish? Do you see that happening? No, not really. So it's just me? Sure. <laughs> no, I kind of agree with you a little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Just a little bit? Don't push it. So if you go into Aqualand, Aqualand. knowing what to expect, a quick, easy-to-learn two-player game that you can play with anybody. I mean, again, it's not language dependent, so nope. you can play it with a, uh, a parent, a family member, a monster, a little red monster, um, a young child too. You're going to have a good time because uh, Aqualin is fun, quick to play, and you're going to play more than once probably in a session. So we highly recommend Aqualin for what it is. And a huge thanks to Cosmos for sending us this game for us to review. Although next time I'm expecting a space game from Aquarium Games. A space game from Aquarium Games? Well look, Cosmos, the Cosmos, space, made an Aquarium game. <laughs> uh oh. We got hacked. <laughs> That's it for this review. That's all we got on Aqualin. Aqualin! If you enjoyed this content, like, subscribe, comment. There you go. And don't forget to hit the button. It starts with the B. Button. <laughs> yeah, button does start with a B. The notification bell, so that that doesn't start with a B. That starts with an N. Oh, Redford's is making way too much sense. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we create new content. So that's it for now. That's all we got. Right? Yeah. Is there anything else we have to say? That we'll see them in, in the, the next, next one. one. That was smooth. That was smooth. Yeah. Man. You know I what? Don't, I don't even know if that's what you meant. That is what I meant. But you know what? You deserve you deserve a treat, buddy. I am kind of hungry. All right, uh -huh. ready? Oh, man. Cosmos is not going to like this. Well, that's fine. They got a spaceship. They can go away. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> Okay, that probably wasn't a good idea. No. I don't have teeth. Yeah. That hurt. All right. Like a baby gumming a toy. Okay.